everybody. Welcome to another episode of Crazy Brave 6913. Why am I bending over, you might ask? Well, today, Iris is finally old enough to be the camera person. She's very excited, as you can see. She's ready to help with these videos. Okay. I like the one that makes it more action -y. And Dali's here for the action and stunts. We'll do it live. We're doing this one live, guys. We'll do it live! Fuck it! So we're here today with this uh, electric bike that we're gonna start using to uh, have some fun. It's called the... Okay, put it up. It's called the Pucky Puppy Hummingbird! <laughs> kind of a weird name, but when I saw this name, I was like, I have to get it, because my daughters are gonna love it. Let's open it up and see what we got, all right? Got a knife right here. Like I always say, once you're done, make sure you close your knife, all right? He taught me how to make two knife. Oh yeah, I did, huh? And then what do you do when you're done? You close it. You close it. Safety, safety, always first. Safety first. Oh, look at these big old wheels right here. Those are big old. Those are big. Let me guess. Gorsi's gonna have his own seat, and Dolly's gonna have his own seat. She won't sit. Where am I gonna sit? Where are you gonna sit? Yeah. You're gonna have to run. You're sport level, baby. You're gonna have to run. What do you think about that? Mmm, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! Woo! There's a little piece that fell off. Right. Oh! Look at that! That is... What is it? It's a bike! It's electricity! Dad doesn't even have to move his legs at all. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is the box you need. Does it even have pedals? That's the box? This That's is cool. Where... What do you think about this box? It's cool. It has it's, a cool thing, you know? There's cool stuff on it? Okay. We need the knife again to open this one. This is where the instructions are going to be. To... In that little box, in that big box, why would it be in there? So inside the box, we have the bike that you guys got to see already. And inside the tinier little box, you come, we have a... We'd love to hear from you. And maybe you give them some feedback on their bike after you assemble it. Put that to the side. And we have the instructions on how to how to put it together. Yeah, this is a, a pump. From the wheels, just in case it gets loosey goosey. Some wrenches. More? And Gotta some, have them right uh, I guess some hex wrenches. Hex wrenches. But I think I'm gonna go get my tool for this job, just so we could get a little bit faster. I do it. And inside the smaller box, we have... Charger. This is charger stuff? Yeah, so you can charge it after you put it together because you need to charge the, the, the electricity in it. So yeah. we'll put that to the side because we're not going to need this now. We're going to need this until the end. So we'll put it over here. Let's put the wheels. You also get yeah. some little screws. I think these are might be for the brakes. The so brakes. We'll put that on top right there. Uh, how, do we, how do we end this? I'm going to put this together and you'll see the whole thing put together afterwards. If I come across any problems that I think you guys should know while I put this together. Uh, I'll turn the, the camera back on and my lovely daughter will help me film it. Until then, uh, see you then. A few moments later. So it took about an hour or two to put this together. The manual is a little bit hard to understand because it does come put together in a different way that the manual is put together. There's brake pads that are included that uh, I hope uh, I did not forget to put on there. Uh, the first thing started from the front. It did come broken. As you can see, it like broke off. I'm not to like tape it or call them and they could just send me another light. As you can see, it does disconnect here. Here, so if they send me a new one, I could replace it. Uh, what's the light? That's, that's for the broken uh, light over here. That's the front light. Look at, look at, look at Dali. Get in front, Dali. Get in front. And that's Dali right there, illuminated by the light. Turn the light <laughs> off. There is spots like here and here, like right here. Uh -huh. And right here, and then back here too as well, where the paint is already falling off. It's like metal. Yeah, you can see the metal coming through. To be honest with you, I'm not really uh, familiar with mountain bikes, so before I put the girls on this, I'm going to read up a little bit and adjust also the, the handlebar. And that's it for the bike itself. It's put together. It's very simple. Um, One point, what are all of us going to fit? That's a good question. I'll show you right now. Okay. So... Okay, so this is the, the, the box, an extra box that it came with, shipped separately, and it came with some accessories that you could attach to the bike. So let's see what we got. All right, Come look in the box. Another one? Oh, there's one right there, but there's a surprise box right there. All right, so this is the backpack right here. 
that goes on the side of the bike. This is where you would, uh, so I guess, store your air pump and your tools that you would be taking with you and I guess your whatever you're carrying for the day. This is the pouch right here. That's the pouch? Yeah. The side is pretty uh, pouchy. And then they have some straps right here that you can use to uh, attach to the bike here. But I don't think we're going to be using this bag for um, our travels because... Where do you put it? Like, where do you put it? What? This bag? Yeah, where do you put it? You this would go right here, look. This bag would go like right here. Like right there? It would go like right here somewhere. Uh, it would go like right there? Yeah, and you could. Yeah. that's where you would put, like if you go to the store, you would put your stuff in here like, oh, I bought some bananas and some like drinks. Yes. Like if I would go to the 7-Eleven, I'll put the, the drinks in there. Yeah, you like get a bag and then just put yeah. it in there. So you don't have to carry it over there. Let's open up the second box. I hope there's another surprise box next. Another surprise box. Okay, let's open it up. What are we gonna have? Okay, let's see what's in here. It's a little heavy. It's a little heavy. Oh, it's it's a basket. A basket? There's a camera to look. That's the basket? And then this is the basket that it comes with. Yeah, you can put ghosty stuff in there. Yeah, like if you go somewhere, just throw stuff on here. This basket would go right. Right there. It'll go right here. What would we put in there? Uh, well, let's say you guys are going in the morning to the to school. We will put your backpacks right there. Oh, maybe we could. Well, maybe we could bring the baby and just put a little bed right there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one day. The camera girl now is. Let me see. Is now gonna be Dolly Mars, because you know little sister has to take a turn. There you go. I quit. Thank you, Dolly. <laughs> okay, so these are aftermarket parts. These are not part of the. Uh, package deal of the puppy hummingbird. I have a seat for each uh, for both of my daughters that I'm going to be adding on right now. Hopefully, we still have time and daylight because, as you can see, it is getting dark. The next day, I went out of time last night to uh, show you guys an update, but this is it assembled. I don't think I said it last night, but I'll say it again. The instructions don't tell you how to put the front wheel together. It's pretty straightforward. Just kind of take off these screws and put it back on there and then screw them back on. This part was kind of tricky, but I don't know if the welding for these little brackets here are, are off, but it was kind of hard to put them on. These are seats that I added for my daughters here. I'll put the links down below on where you can find them. This one fit perfectly onto the middle part. It attaches to the bottom of the seat. This is the seat in the back. They're both made by different companies. Links down below where you can find these seats. They fit on there perfectly. The only thing I did not attach to this one, it does come with some handlebars that go to the bottom of the seat. But um, if you put the seat up any higher, I can't get on. So I did not attach that. She's probably gonna have to hold on to the bars or my belt while we're riding. We're not gonna be going so fast. Can you see through? Yeah, you can see through. there's enough, hopefully enough clearance there. Well, with more riding, we'll end up finding out if the this is crashing or not. But from what I've seen, I don't think so. Uh, it says to have at least one centimeter. And I believe that's one centimeter. If not, then I'm gonna have to come in here and uh, chop some of that pole off. Hopefully I don't. Let me show you the screen this tells you how much uh boost is giving you this is the battery this is how fast you're going this is how far you've gone and this is the time you've been riding for you have the power button on here you have uh, your boost to go faster lower you have the light to turn on the front light and a little horn right here. Your throttle is right here. This is gonna get adjusted a little bit to go forward because I think it's a little bit too high for me. Last night, I don't know if I mentioned it last night, but the light had broken off the mount and I had to use a little bit of hot glue to get it to stay on there. I messed up a little bit. I didn't even make sure that it was pointing down or the right way, so it's pointing up and to the right. I'm gonna have to call them and contact them. Hopefully they can send me a spare part. Um, that was probably the only negative part about it is that this part came broken. Another part that was pretty hard last night to assemble was this rear light, okay? It's a weird, it's a weird setup. So what I ended up doing was using a little bit of hot glue to, to mount the screws to the light and then put the light through the holes and then screw that on. Because the other way is, it's a lot of balancing, a lot of pulling and, and tugging and it just never seemed like it would be set right. It just kept uh, sliding off. So with a little bit of hot glue to the, to the bolt, to the light and then the light through the holes, screw it on, it should be good. Last night, I tried it out for 
maybe 30 minutes. I did not get to his max speed. I did get to about 20 miles an hour. Pretty exhilarating. I did take my dog out to go run with him in the morning. I didn't really have to use the electric uh, boost on it so much because my dog was pretty much uh, taking off without me. It was lots, lots of fun riding. I can't wait to go out riding with my daughter some more. Uh, we've tried it already together. That is the Pucky, the Pucky Puppy Hummingbird bike as it is out of the box and first impressions. I will be giving you some more reviews as I write it some more and I come across any problems I will let you guys know. But for now, pretty good stuff guys, pretty good stuff. It looks stuff. like a tank, it looks pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie, I think, I think it's pretty badass. Um, as for now guys, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.